Good morning. Welcome back to RA. What's next? Today, hopefully, that came through nice and clear. Sounds good. Hopefully, it's good quality sound because I now have a brand new wireless microphone setup. It would be my fifth wireless microphone setup since I, well, I guess not wireless. It's my fifth microphone setup, my fourth wireless setup since I started my YouTube channel. What was it? like 15 months ago. This one, uh, what I read on it, got great reviews. There were no negative reviews. It's supposed to be good quality. Now it was far more expensive than my other ones that I've had. So this isn't a review of this one. It's just an overall what I've gone through up until this point and the struggles of starting out in a new YouTube freaking channel. Now, you gotta spend money. YouTube to me is a hobby, just like any other hobby. You're gonna spend money in your hobbies. Like, uh, I don't know if you can see them down here or not. Warhammer 40K boxes. Anybody that's gotten into that hobby, you might as well freaking get into heroin. It's cheaper and the toll that it takes on your family would be far less. Uh, so you can't really worry about money too much. Uh, if you wanna do it, you're gonna spend money and if you want good quality shit, you're going to have to spend a decent amount of money. Now, what I started out with when I first got started my channel, first got into it, is just this simple boom microphone that uh, mounted on top of the camera. Uh, what I liked about it was it was reliable. It always worked. I turned it. The only time it didn't work is when I forgot to turn the goddamn switch on, which, you know, I did on a fairly regular basis. But when I remember to turn the switch on, it always recorded. But the problem is, it just the sound quality sucked. You know, and I'd be standing over here and you could barely hear what I was saying. And if I turned the saw on, for some reason, the decibel of the saw just it picked it up and made it unbelievably freaking loud and annoying. But that got me through, I don't know, 10 videos or so before I decided to buy this one right here. This one right here doesn't exist anymore. It was my first wireless setup. It cost me, I think, $25. Uh, it didn't even have a brand name on it. It just said made in China. Uh, I think I made five or six videos on it. And out of them five or six, I think two of them were usable. And those two that were usable were only partially usable because the audio would just cut out so fucking bad. Uh, like uh, my weed eater gas versus electric video. That one was actually supposed to be a significantly longer video with a lot more discussion. And I had to cut out so much of it because the audio was freaking gone. So this one, uh, it took a relatively uh, short flight across my shop into a wall, and it's now probably in a landfill somewhere. Then I got the Movo Mark IIs. This had some negative reviews about sound quality, cutting out on it, you know, it would just randomly drop freaking audio. Uh, I used them, and they worked flawlessly. They had terrific friggin' range. Uh, at one point in time, I was recording a video. I walked up to the house to go to the bathroom and recorded myself peeing. You know, and the house is 150 feet up that way. So it still recorded through two walls, continued recorded audio for me. Uh, so I had no complaints with these up until a few months ago it would just start randomly dropping audio. It would just like shut off. You'd be talking along, I'd be watching the video on my computer and the audio would just disappear and it wouldn't come back. And I lost several uh, projects over the, uh, this. Oh yeah, this one, it was also relatively lightweight. It only takes one AA battery in the side here. So there wasn't much weight to it. Those are done. So I had to, Figured I'd try and upgrade. These were a little bit more expensive, but not much. Probably an extra $20 for this set. This is the, the Movo WMX7 uh, transmitter or receiver transmitter. Right out of the box, I could tell I didn't really care for them. One thing had this big stupid antenna off the back of it. It's like, really, that's necessary? Uh, I don't know how far of a range they were expecting. I don't know if they wanted me to, you know, be three miles over that way still trying to record fucking audio plus this thing hanging on your your belt back here it's sticking out it gets smacked into all kinds of things uh 
What it did have was multiple different channel functions. You could select through different channels. So if you've got one that's got interference in the area, if you've got radio antennas or whatever, you can find a channel that it'll, it'll work on. Uh, it's bulky and it takes two AA batteries. So it's a little somewhat heavier than that one, especially with this big goddamn antenna sticking out of it. But after probably my fourth video with it, uh, it started dropping audio. It would start sounding like uh, you were crumpling up a paper bag or something over top of the microphone and then the audio was gone. Uh, yeah, and that's after just a couple of times of using it. And so it got to the point where it's just it was just no longer feasible to shoot videos. Like I either continue doing YouTube and spend the money on a new microphone, hopefully a good quality microphone that isn't going to have the problems that this have, or I just stop YouTube altogether. And you know, fuck it. Went ahead and got the credit card, and I bought me another wireless microphone. This one didn't have any negative reviews that I could find on it. Uh, it is the Rode Wireless Go. This isn't a review on this one because this is literally the first video that I'm making with it. But so far, what I really like about it is it's just here in my front pocket. It is tiny. It does not have a battery that you put in. It's an internal battery. It charges off of a uh, USB port. You don't even have to have the, the, uh, the lavalier microphone. It has a built-in mic right here. I haven't tested it yet, but you can just clip that into your shirt pocket. Use this microphone instead of this microphone. But for the time being, I'm going to use the, the lavalier microphone. Uh, the uh, the receiver that's mounted on top of the camera looks identical to this, except it has a digital screen here that gives you uh, uh, your volume, uh, battery life, and uh, your transmission, how well it's receiving. You got a power button down here. On the receiver, you got a power button on one side, but you also have a, uh, a pairing button in case they're not paired. You can Hold that button down and it can pair the devices but they come right out of the box automatically paired uh, and it also has a button that says db i'm assuming that stands for decibels and you click it all the way up until it's full click it again once it's full and it drops all the way back down uh, i already ran some tests on it and i found having it at its minimum volume is best because it started out at maximum volume and it was deafeningly loud on replay the, uh, it's got just a tiny little belt clip right here. The receiver has the exact same thing. And this is sized to the same size as like what this is. It's the shoe that mounts to your, uh, your camera. On top of your camera, it's going to have that little slide in there. I think they call it a shoe. The belt clip is the same size as your shoe on your standard uh, receivers. So it just clips, slides in there, sits on top of your camera. You can barely notice it there. If it was black instead of white, you probably wouldn't even be able to see the damn thing. Now, I probably won't typically leave this in my front pocket. I'll run the wires down through my shirt to my, my rear pocket. But for now, it'll work right there. So, I'm really hoping that this one works out. Uh, this one came with the camera, so I don't know how much it costs. This one that's not here was about 25 bucks. This one, what was it? I think it was $80 for the Movo Mark II. This Movo WMX7, I think, was $95. And this one came out at $200. So at $200, I really freaking hope this... Uh, I hope I can get at least a year out of this thing, if not more. I guess as long as I don't you know, beat the living hell out of it. Try and keep from backing into things. But that's what I've got right now. Uh, let's see, what did you get in the box with the wireless go? You got the receiver, or the transmitter, the receiver. You come to the nice little soft carrying bag to put them in. It's got some cable bundles. Bundle up your, your different cables. You won't be able to see it, but there is a coiled cable that plugs into the receiver that goes into the back of the camera. That's over there. You can't see that right now. It has... These cute little fluff ball things that 
clip into the top of your microphone right here. It's got two little clips. Uh, I messed with them yesterday. And I found them to be kind of fiddly little fucks trying to get them to stay in there. They didn't want to stay in there. I suppose if I messed with it longer, I might be able to get them, but I won't probably won't ever use these anyway. They're just them, what do you call it, wind dampeners or whatever. So if you're recording outside, of course, it came with the uh, lavalier microphone. An extra little foamy thing to go on the end of the microphone. The shirt clip for the microphone. Uh, a pack of uh, road desiccant. Keep that moisture down. Don't eat that. Uh, your instructions, and the instructions are, like this is so easy to set up that the instructions are literally just pictures. It's just one, two, three, four, done. It's working. It also comes with two USB cables because since these things don't have an external battery that you can charge or replace, uh, you use the USB cables to, uh, to charge these things. And it came out of the box already pre-charged. I plugged it in last night and looked at it and was like, oh, well, shit, I don't have to charge it. I don't know how long these will last on a single record. I'm going to probably find that out today because I plan on just leaving them on, seeing how long they last. And then I want to see how long they charge. But these little batteries, I bet you I've got four hours of record time. Because it doesn't really say anywhere on the box or in the instructions. Like they said, the instructions just have pictures. Oh, wait, no, there it is. Fuck, maybe if you read all of the box. Up to seven hours of battery life. Okay, there you go. It has up to seven hours of battery life. So, yeah, that's probably about the extent of time that I would spend out here in the shop anyway. So here's the hoping that this works out and I stop freaking dropping audio. I stop having my freaking videos fucked up because of audio. I guess I could switch formats and go to uh, that voiceover shit where I sit at my computer and, and it's like, here at this point, I'm gluing down a board and that I don't want to do that. This is more of a freaking, what do you call that, a vlog where I just talk to the damn camera while I'm building shit and I just say whatever's on my mind. And uh, some people like it, probably three, I think three people like it. Uh, if other people don't, oh well. Like I said, this is a hobby and I do it because I enjoy it. Okay, so first part of this video was just uh, basically talking about my progression through wireless freaking setups. Wasn't a review or anything, it's more like uh, my origin story, I guess. Uh, this last part I've had, I think two and a half months now of using my latest uh, wireless mic setup. It is, you know, the little Rode wireless friggin' microphone. Uh, after two and a half months, I can actually I do an honest review on it, what I think of it so far. Uh, it's fucking great. I mean, to be completely honest, after two and a half months of using it, I have not had a single instance where I have lost any audio. There has been no popping, cracking, crackling, hissing, anything. Uh, everything that I've recorded comes through freaking nice and clear. Where all them old fuckers that I had, they'd go in and review the videos that I shot for the day. And uh, damn near every time I go through, be halfway through a video and all of a sudden the fucking microphone would just cut out. This one has not done that in two, two and a half months. Now... I don't know how long it'll last. It might shit the bed right here in the middle of this video. I hope it won't. Uh, I'm hoping this I can have this thing for a long time. And the nice thing is, is that I just feed the, the microphone up through my shirt. I keep the uh, little tiny freaking device in my back pocket. It's not in the way. You can't see it other than this little microphone sticking out. You can't even tell I got a, a microphone on. Where all the other ones, great big bulky fucking thing sticking off the back of my my pants freaking, I keep smacking it into freaking uh, benches and that, coming in and out of my shop door. I'd always smacking them things on the, on the door frame. But yeah, now that uh, I've got this and combine that with my new camera that I got, I, maybe I can actually put out some sort of video that's uh, worth fucking watching. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, at least my new camera actually records nice clear close-ups as opposed to the, the cheap junk that I had before. Cause, uh, you know, my new camera is actually expensive. I seem to have a problem with the impulse control. But these little, this little Rode microphone, $200.
it's more expensive than I was planning on spending. I didn't want to spend much over $75, but that's about what I was spending on them other ones. And you know, I'm, and I have lost so much freaking content out of it. And it's so goddamn frustrating when you only have a very short amount of time, free time to actually go out and record video. You don't want to come in, turn it on and realize that all the bullshit that you were spewing out was completely lost to the ether because your cheap piece of shit microphone cut out on you. So if you're looking for a relatively inexpensive, but not cheap microphone, this, this is freaking great. I love this thing. Uh, I'm not being sponsored. Rode doesn't know who I am. Look at my, my uh, uh, subscriber count. Nobody's fucking sponsoring me. This is just my honest opinion. It's a damn nice little freaking microphone. I am so completely happy with it. If you're planning on trying to do this stupid YouTube shit and you need a wireless microphone for a decent price, fucking try it. I like it. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button. Definitely hit that like button. Nobody does. I'll see you next time.